coming up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey after show. Um, I just wanted to apologize to the group uh, about my, you know, actions yesterday. That's normally not how I act. The apology was hard for her. Just give me a, some spare ribs. I at this point, I'm done. Joe Gorga was like clapping for. Oh, thank you, Teresa. That was very Trey. nice. That was, that was great, nice. Trey. That's great. I was like, give me a break and came on. Did that piss me off? It was an amazing apology. I mean, she put a lot of thought into it. You could have said, F I'm not doing anything, and started line dancing again. I know Margaret said I didn't eat dinner last night. She always yeah. eats dinner. That's, I guess, the only thing she could really say about me, the way I look, the way I this. Margaret got to eat. I didn't get to eat the night before. I think Teresa was just being shady. Of course I was being shady. It's she's so upset she doesn't even know what to say. And what is she so upset about? What is so devastating? Look at this. Look at this. Frankie, you're <laughs> so on. lucky. Now, hold on. I think because I'm such a, a, an alpha male that everyone is concerned about my balls. What a set of balls I have. Okay, maybe not physically, all right? But figuratively, all right, I got a big set of balls. <laughs> Your Real Housewives of New Jersey after show starts right now. you make an apology at dinner, but Margaret's not really having it. I don't give a shit about what Margaret thinks. Um, I just wanted to apologize to the group uh, about my, you know, actions yesterday. That's normally not how I act. And you were saying, you were talking about how much you loved Louie and like, you got choked up for a minute. I love Louie very much. He's the love of my life. And when someone hurts him, they're hurting me. And you were like, you know, I was provoked trying to give yourself an explanation as to why you behave that way. But you know, I was provoked. Wow. And I just wanted to say, you know, sorry about, you know, what I did last night. And the minute you said provoked, they start mumbling under their breaths. Oh, provoked. Provoked. You guys even you know what an apology is, and there's no saying someone provoked you. You okay. own your own behavior. If it was an apology, it would have been to you. She's an asshole. I thought that the apology was um, what she didn't say was more telling than what she did say. I thought by apologizing to the group, she was telling Margaret, you're not, you don't deserve an apology from me. You know, everyone else does because their dinner was ruined, but you don't deserve an apology from me. She apologized to the group and with um, the blaming me when someone comes after someone she loves. That's not an apology. I mean, that, but that, you know, that was a very poor excuse. I wasn't coming after someone you love, okay? If this out there, I'm not coming after him. Everybody else in America was coming after him, not me. I, I asked about it. It was, the apology was hard for her. And like, it was like, uh, this isn't gonna come out right. This isn't gonna work. Just give me a, some spare ribs. I, at this point, I'm done. Teresa, your apology tonight was not an apology no, to the table. Don't tell me what I did. Apology 101 does not come with a but. I didn't say but. Listen, I, I don't, I really care about Teresa. To be better, you have to do better and to be able to own your mistakes. It is never beneath me to say I'm sorry. I like to say I'm sorry on a regular basis and not make excuses about it. And Joe Gorga was like clapping for, oh, thank you, Teresa. That was very Trey. nice. That was, that was great, nice. Trey. Nice. That's great. I was pissed off at him. I was like, come here break you enable her because that pissed me off it was an amazing apology i mean she put a lot of thought into it i mean she sat there all night her and louie they sat there they talked about it they wrote it they typed it all out it was amazing you gotta really you gotta you gotta give it to her i mean come on <laughs> she could have said i'm not doing anything and started line dancing again you know she gave an apology i mean come on i think it's so funny that like your Joe had just promised Margaret that he would like be there for her. If your sister blows up off the handle, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna grab her. Walk her right walk on her out. Out right out. That's of the it. Room. Within two seconds. Yeah, within two seconds he caved. But it's funny. I mean, like I know last year, last year at the shore when she apologized to me, and I'm sorry about like, you know, like everything that went down and. I would never want, want to do anything to hurt you guys in any way. No, like, we're yeah, letting everything go. Yeah. We were like, what, did we hear the word sorry? Like, yeah, all good. Good. We're good. I think everybody at that table saw what Margaret did. And I think everybody at that table, you know, understood why I did what I did. <laughs> Margaret, it's like, like, what the, like, what is your freaking problem? Get a life. Get a hobby. If you're bored with your husband, 
go then leave him and go find another guy because obviously she's bored she has a lot of time on her hands yeah but she doesn't like your apology so you know she, i don't she's care the apology I really, police yeah i don't care what and... margaret thinks margaret could like i'm like i don't know. i was gonna say something <laughs> at this point i'm so shot from the fighting and everything i'm going through because this was supposed to be, a be my trip fyi that i just want yes. to take cornbread and shove it down my throat cornbread and barbecue ribs. I'm I'm a uh, nervous eater. So all I'm doing is looking at the food being like, oh. <laughs>Comment at dinner that bothered some of the women. He ate dinner know? last night. I know Margaret said I didn't eat dinner last night. Oh, she always yeah. eats dinner. Dinner tomorrow night. Always I, I made sure I ate my meal that night because the night before I didn't get to eat. Margaret did. Margaret got to eat. I didn't get to eat the night before. So I was like, I'm going to make sure I eat tonight because Margaret always gets her meals in. So I, I was like, there, this there tonight. Definitely, listen, there was this shady dig from you, Teresa, to Margaret yes, about yes. eating the meal. Oh, yes. The night before, I didn't yes, get to eat. Because, absolutely. Yeah, because, you know, because she said what she said, and I didn't get to eat. So I was like, this night, tonight, I'm going to make sure I, I eat. I think Teresa was just being shady. Yes. Of course I was being shady. Of course she I was, was being shady. She was trying to shady. press buttons. Yeah, of course. That was on purpose. Yes. You want to yeah. push buttons, I'll push them right back, girlfriend. That's, I guess, the only thing she could really say about me, the way I look, the way I have this. I mean, again, Margaret, you know how I feel about you. I'd rather no, you have no course. clothes on than I do. No, I know. We love each other naked. It just, I I cannot take anything she says seriously because it's so, but it's it's horrific that someone would stoop, you know, stoop to the level. But it's, she's so upset she doesn't even know what to say and what is she so upset about that's what i want to know what is she protecting what is she so upset what is so devastating just this is the whole thing what is so devastating jennifer being as upset as she is Teresa being as upset as she is i would just be like your opinion means nothing to me move on from this yeah that's it's what the i would public, say everybody's worried about the public perception i i'm not a big one of that i'm not a big one of that so tell me about the guy's boat outing in Nashville. You know, it was nice. Joe bought me a gift, which I didn't know about. I appreciate that you set this beautiful boat trip up, but I got you something. You got me something for setting it up for you? I did. I got yeah, you. Special I, did. <laughs> I can't f wait to special see that. Guess. No, it's something nice. Whoa. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. Give me a little picture. Whoa. Look at that. You got your own boat. <laughs> Quite honestly, what it is, it's a strap on, okay? All right, with a set of balls and, 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 and a penis. Look at this. Look at this. Guys, Frankie, you're <laughs> hold so on. lucky. Now, hold on. Yeah. All right. I, said I could use the balls, but quite honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. My penis is bigger than this, this fake thing you have here. All right? <laughs> so Joe, Joe cuts the penis off, and he hangs the balls around my neck. Oh. What are you doing, bro? Oh, <laughs> Lorena Bobbitt? Now, I, like got now I got balls. Nice Look at that. Man. Next thing you know, because the penis is closed at one end and it's the other end. Next thing you know, we're doing shots out of the penis. <laughs> Joe, Joe has an infatuation with my balls, all right? Where it derives from, I have no idea. You hear about Frank's balls, but if you look down there, there's no balls. So <laughs> We are, we talk about him, we hear about him, but there's nothing there. So I feel he's he's very insecure about that. See, you don't think so. He's got all these muscles and veins popping out of his forehead and everywhere, and and no one knows. But we, when we sit down and we talk, he goes, "Joe, I have no balls." He's very upset, and I don't want to tell the world about it. But so I had to go buy him a set of balls. <laughs> you know, we're we're having a party. We're going on we're going on a boat. We're all gonna be in like bathing suits, shirts off, and I kind of felt bad. I said, "Listen." Evans hung like a horse, Joe, me especially, you know, Bill, we're all like men. And then you got Frank, the poor guy, I felt bad. I had to go to the store and I got him a strap on. I gave him a gift. gift. I'm a great guy. Gave him a great gift. He's jealous. Well, we know Je why. Because he's, he's jealous. jealous. He only has three sperms and left in his. Exactly. So when they looked under the microscope, they only saw three sperm that were swimming. What? So Joe may have big balls, but you want to know something? They're just there. They don't do anything. I think because I'm such a, a, an alpha male, 
all right? And I have such a strong personality, all right, that everyone is concerned about my balls, what a set of balls I have, okay? Okay, maybe not physically, all right? But figuratively, all right, I got a big set of balls. Although I got to be honest with you, all right? At one of our meetings, all right, everybody's together and everything, and I was promised, I was promised that Bill was going to give me a, a set of prosthetic balls, okay? Gold ones. Gold ones on top of it, you know? We're just waiting for gold prices to go down, Frank, then uh, Joe Gorga is going to buy them and I'm going to install them. I'm okay the way they are. Dolores, you give Margaret some tips on how to handle Teresa. She was married to somebody that was very hard on her. It's never a kind word, never a kind touch. And here comes Louie. She's patting her head. This is the first time I've taken dogs out of the shelter. They'll do anything for you when you pet them and treat them right. That's how I picture her life. Here's the guy that came and saved her. Can you explain your thought process behind that? Um, so emotions do not travel in rational channels. And that is the first thing I learned in therapy, my first session when I was going through a divorce. Teresa's very emotional about this subject. It's, she, you, she, you get a visceral reaction from her. I'm the type of friend that I'm okay with whatever you want. I'll be here to pick up the pieces. I'll give you my input if things get really out of hand, but if you don't want to hear it, then I'm not going to say it. I have a lot of faith. She's a big girl. She's been through a lot. Teresa's got it. If she doesn't want to hear it, then you know she doesn't want the help that's a fact so it's like she doesn't want you to help her and i feel like just get the memo and i think she's just super protective over louis she's been through a lot she's in love and she doesn't want to scare this guy away she wants it to go well so i do get why she's totally frustrated too that margaret keeps asking her questions and bringing it up because she's just saying like i don't care what's out there i don't want to hear it i don't want to talk about it so i do get that i get that she's just trying to protect the relationship and that she's been waiting for this for a long time uh, and now she has it the only thing she's getting frustrated about is that you keep talking no. about him is that a reason to push the entire table over onto me so it's just time to like let her be with him. Some people got mad at me that day. I was like, you know, I do have a certain standard. I expect people to act a certain way. I don't think everybody gets a pass because they've had a hard life. A lot of people have had a hard life. Everyone in Teresa's in life knows family. not to ask her a question. Wait, so I want to understand. We all have to tiptoe to make sure she doesn't lose her temper. I know that's weird. You guys accept this behavior in your family and I'm not doing it. They were just like, well, that's Teresa. That's what she does. Well, that's what she does because everybody says that's what she does. I do believe that she hasn't handled it correctly or Louie hasn't handled it correctly. I think Louie has to address the video. I wish almost we would have spoken off camera and that I would have said, you're handling this all wrong, but she wouldn't listen to me anyway. I step back and whatever happens, happens at this point. She's a big girl, she's gotta do it on her own. That's what the advice I was trying to give Margaret. Think about what happened. She met this guy and unfortunately all this came out about him. Everyone's talking about it. It's frustrating for her. But he's doing the right thing, and she's happy. Listen, she's been through a lot. I mean, she's went to prison. She had to leave her children. She had a husband that was cheating on her, treated her like garbage. Now she's got this guy, treats her like gold. Uh, he might have a crazy past. We don't know. I know Margaret was trying to say, listen, let's... What's all these allegations about him? Some of them got to be true. Some of them not. Let's... let's she's our friend. Let's... Let's look into them. But listen, I don't, you know, for her to even think that I wouldn't want her happy is the most <laughs> crazy thing I've ever heard. I, the last thing I want to do is see her girls or her be in a bad place. While all the guys are out on the boat, Louis weighs in on what happened the night before at the restaurant. Honestly, I feel like you guys give me a fair chance fair shot. I don't think the ladies would give me a fair shot, though. That's what it is. He just, I, I think he was trying to, to justify the night before what happened and what went down. And, and Louis does it in a certain way. Again, just like Bill, they're, they're very monotone. They're very, they're very, they don't get, they don't get like hot blooded like myself and Joe Gorga. All right. They ruined my father and me. <laughs> You know, when when something we're we're talking about something that we're we're very feel strongly about, um, 
and he explained it. And, you know, he's telling us that, you know, that after now he thinks that Margaret is going after Teresa and trying to sabotage his relationship. But I don't, I don't think Margaret was attacking you, bro. Mark's overprotective of Teresa. You come in on a scene, she wants you to be able to go and be with Teresa, but get past all of the nonsense that's happening, right? Yeah. Because not for anything, shit comes up about you every day, you know? You know, that lasted for a while, and you know, everybody sat there, we didn't want to argue, until, listen, then Louis got drunk, and, and then everything was forgotten. He just wanted to, like, get away from the girls and just be as immature as possible. Mission accomplished. Yeah, he just left it at home, and he we just had a great... That day was to just have a great time. The guys were out. We we, we initiated him, right? Bill got a reinitiation. Look at his hair. His shirt is on backwards. He was <laughs> Tiki didn't show up. Tiki was scared. <laughs> He's like, listen, I played in the NFL. I am, I can't hang with those guys. We gotta work. I hate that I'm missing it, but I gotta do my radio show. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll stay over there. I gotta do newscasting. I gotta cast some sports. That was bullshit. He's home sitting on the couch. He's like, I can't hang out with those men. Those are men. You think the guys in the NFL are men like these guys? No, no, no. No, no. We're men. <laughs> Loris, you and Teresa go shopping, and you try to talk about what happened at dinner the night before. Last night, the way you got, you know, that blind rage, you know you would have got your yeah. hands on her if nobody stopped you. I know that she doesn't like getting that way. And I, who does? You know, we don't want to sit next to our the new human in our life and say, like, this is a side of me you just saw that you don't ever want to see again. And, and she's agreeing with me on that. She does. She goes... I'm so embarrassed, like I wish, you know, I, I don't want to get like that, I don't want to act like that, I just, I wish that I didn't do that. I didn't want to get to that point with Margaret, I really didn't. Like, I don't want to act like that, but if there's someone that's trying to hurt my family or somebody I love, I can't help it. But, sorry, I, re I really love Louie more than anything in this world, and nobody's Louie, and um, Margaret sure is not going to, and she, you know, I just had enough of her shit. I've never done that before. I've only flipped the table once on Danielle, and now I did this to Margaret. And of course, it's always people that are trying, like, are poking the bear. Margaret poked the bear. Dinner, let's eat dinner. Disgusting liar. I had enough. So Margaret needs to stop poking the bear. She really does. And she's poked a lot of bears. I had enough. I do feel that you try to control your temper a lot more when Louis around. And I feel like that's why he's such a positive influence on you. And I feel that you like that about yourself and that you're trying to just always evolve as a person. Yeah, and learn. of course. Yes, of course. Yeah. A lot of those things were said. And, and I think he's a big part of also calming her down at certain times if he can. But there's... There's a level that she gets to that she doesn't. Disgusting. Yeah, you better get that bitch out of my face. Let's go. We all have our breaking points and get there. Marge, you've seen Marge. Were you no, there? No, no, Bill told Were me. Were you then Bill shut the up. Up. Oh my God, Shut up. Relax. Shut up. Any... You've seen me. What the f are you doing? Don't my face. You've seen every single one of us get to that point. But after it's over, it's like a bad night out that you don't want to remember. No one's proud of that. And then you feel bad that you did it. What about her behavior? Throwing Marty into the Marty into the pool. Get out of here. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not mm -hmm. good behavior. God forbid the guy no. would have cracked his head open on Je in Jennifer's pool. Like I thought about that. Like, I'm so bad. Do you bad. think she thinks about the collateral damage? Was, she doesn't Jen, think about the collateral so damage. She thinks she, about her selfish behavior. Jen, I was furious when she did that because I was like, God forbid that she he, she would have pushed him in the pool and he would have hit it. He would have slipped the wrong way. I mean, he's an older man. What? Oh, my God. God forbid he would have sued me. I, yes, something. His family could have sued him. Exactly, something. Like, so her behavior... It's not good either. Like, yeah, who's gonna check her behavior, huh?